I did it because I, I love Amy, and also because I love the script. I thought the script was amazing, and the story, I checked that box real quick. That's a, it was a beautiful, beautiful story. And then Denis, I uh, had known inadvertently through, through other people and seen some of his work prior and was always a big fan. And we almost worked together on another movie, Prisoners. And <clears throat> anyway, I really, really liked him a lot. But mainly because of, of Amy. I wanted to support, support her and um, having strong women leads in, in film. That was an important thing for me. The movie starts off, uh, 12 alien ships arrive all around the world. And um, it's a very insular story told through the eyes of Amy Adams' character, who is a linguist who's hired to go upon one of these vessels to try to communicate with them. I'm hired on the other side of this team as a physicist to deal with communication through math and mathematics. So we, our two teams, get together, and her and I go ab aboard to see if they're a threat or if they're going to help us or what the heck the deal is. And, um, and it kind of goes into bigger themes of of division and unity and, and that sort of thing, which I think is quite beautiful. We had um, certain ideas of, of what he certainly didn't want, what he didn't, he told me what he didn't want. He didn't want him to be like this really kind of, you know, milky, bland, desk, you know, writing kind of computer guy. It's, you know, he wanted him to have a lot of life and a lot of verve, a lot of personality. And that's exactly how I saw it. And I, I had the instant thing I, I thought about was sort of like, I'm like, what about, you know, think about like um, my, uh, Richard Dreyfus and Jaws, right? You know, he's sort of like the guy that comes in the science mind, but he had like, you know, a big personality and verb. It wasn't quite that animated, but just sort of the idea of that. And we kind of ran with that and like, okay, let's work on that and have him have a sense of humor. And so we laced in a lot of, a lot of um, things that weren't really kind of scripted about a little bit more about the humor and the current sort of realist and, and the scientist uh, uh, of him. Um, I thought I brought in a really interesting element to, 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 to the picture. His life has all been, always been about looking up his head in the clouds or looking up at least towards the stars because that's, as a scientific mind, that's just sort of what he, what he thought and actually I really connected it to that because it's something that, that I think about all the time, you know, because you know, whenever I get stressed about something, I look up at something that's much bigger than me and it makes me just feel like a grain of sand and like, oh wait, my problems really aren't that bad, so why am I stressing? So I, I connected to that with him and, and that's just a guy what he's done. He's always just looked up to the stars and, and, and thought about, wondered about life outside of, I mean, he's not a guy that's dealing with stuff on the planet. He's always somewhere else thinking and wondering about other things and um, I think that was my greatest connection to him was that. Yeah, I mean, I think that's that's interesting. I mean, Amy brings that up a lot. Her character brings that up a lot in in, in the movie, and in, in how things can be miscommunicated, especially just in the English language, let alone just language in general. And um, you can see why things are miscommunicated all the time. And you really don't want to mess up with an alien force that looks like they could pretty much wipe us out if they wanted to. Um, so the tension can be pretty quite high in that, but it, you, you kind of learn a lot as the audience and as she's speaking, and um, even when Eden speaks about in a different way from, from a binary standpoint, a very scientific standpoint, um, not quite as sexy, but um, you can see why there's such miscommunication, and that sort of, the root of that sort of just miscommunication just in language is kind of spread out because it is a global sort of movie and story, and even though it's still told in this very insular, way through Amy's perspective. But there, there is, you know, a lot of different spinning plates where a lot of miscommunication can happen. It's much bigger than I ever anticipated. Not size-wise, but just sort of in scale, and sort of emotional scale. Um, yeah, it's when they become animated, and um, just to see this, this, the vessels, these shells, and the scope of the movie and the cinematography. I mean, you see, you see a real director's and, and cinematographer's hand in this in this picture, and I never see that. I, I didn't see any performances. I just saw a director, a director's hand in this entire film, and that 
comes from a lot of that visual effects. A lot of these things, you know, there's a lot of players that are involved in those sorts of things. But this movie is, is all about Denis. And he's made it what it is because you know, through his thoughts and hard work. Well, he's patient. He's a very patient filmmaker, if you've seen any of his films. And um, especially when you're dealing with a big alien movie. And <clears throat> he's just very patient and thoughtful. And it's a, he's had the story told with you know, a very insular sort of pairing of, 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 of actors. Um, and um, that's what I think draws audi audiences in when you can you can easily get lost into just aliens and stuff. And the complications of what mathematics are and theories and linguists. And you care about the characters and that's what's most important and, then, and he knows that. And, and that's what he, I think, focused on outside of you know, still trying to tell the, uh, the complex story that, that he did. We have really good chemistry because we're, cause we're very good friends and we trust and love each other and we will even, we'll still even fight and argue um, if need be to, to work something out. Um, but it's usually in, in, a, in a very healthy way. We always like, you know, we'll, usually we're on the same side trying to figure out how do we, how do we do this and how do we do this in a very authentic way. It should make your job easy when you work with someone that's really good at what they do. And then um, we have similar uh, personal plights in our, in our personal lives and where we're at in our careers and with our kid and, and, and that sort of thing. We just have just a wonderful, wonderful connection. Yeah, he's always great, man. I've, I've known him for a long time. I, got, I worked with him back in about 2005. And he's, you know, he's, again, he's a very quiet, gentle soul, very giving as an actor, and um, brought a lot of humanity and intelligence to a role that could have been just very um, kind of one-note-ish. And uh, Denis is also really smart that way as well, hence why he cast him in that role. Finding something that was interesting, even in the, in the, in the mundane, even in the silliest things of sitting at a desk and looking at a computer, I'm like, I have to, I, I behaviorally had to always really, really stretch to find something because, again, it's a very spacious movie as far as like in text and um, in, in character development, right? It's much more in storytelling and had to, to create a love story within uh, this, this giant, you know, alien communication type of movie. Like, I had to try to keep layering in something that had to do with. Uh, a, a, a small love story, you know, and we couldn't lean on that at all. So it was tricky. I, you know, God, I don't know what you can expect. It's, it's certainly, um, I didn't know what to expect. And when I saw it, I still don't know how to say outside of, like, it's probably the, the best piece of cinema I've seen in a decade. Um, Just is, man. I mean, just gut wrenching to me. But you know, it's visually stimulating. It's, it, it 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 stimulates your mind and your in, in your emotions, and um, it's exciting. It's it's patient. It's uh, it's tense and taut. Uh, smart, um, and it's big, big in scale and big in emotion, big in in what it gives and what it allow you to think and feel about things. Um, I think it's a pretty special piece of cinema. I'm just so fortunate and blessed to be a part of it. Hey guys, now the trailer for my big fat Greek wedding too is already out, but did you know that despite pulling in over 240 million, the first my big fat Greek wedding never once topped the US box office chart? Hmm. Now for this and more movie facts, click on more videos, but if you want something different, click on the playlist. <laughs>